Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate how to use the long jake crane sling. Uh, idea I came up with that Westfer makes. This thing's pretty cheap, it's really simple. So we'll dangle that from the ball and we'll clip loop runners to it. And then we'll crane the branches out. And uh, hey, why don't you boom down, Brian, to show how tall that tree is. That tree is uh, it's like 130 feet tall. Our crane's 127, but it's so far away that we end up with like 30 or 40 feet above and we can't get the ball over it so what we're end, we end up with is all these branches down low and we got to bring the top down to get the tree shorter than the crane to start picking logs out so i'll use this and i'll rig the branches out and we'll bring the branches over here so that we don't have to drag brush out of the backyard because well you guys know that's hard like this, this works really well when you have a tree and it's lopsided like a conifer like this and you get a whole bunch of branches on one side of the tree. When you pick the log, that whole piece wants to tip. I did a pick yesterday where I, I should take the branches off first. It was kind of violent because it tipped. And uh, I'll show you that here in a second. But you can take the branches off of uh, the trunk and then bring them separate and then go back to doing your balance picks. If you have a big broadleaf tree, it's rather easy to do a balance pick, but sometimes the on conifers are kind of tricky, especially when they're this tall like this. So you, you can see he's still away from the tree, but it, it's quite a bit taller than the crane. So I'll show you, I'll just run up, I'll put the branches to this thing, I'll cut them and fly them out, we'll lay them down, and it'll be pretty quick. And then we'll we'll get the tree lower than the crane and start picking it. You can see it's quite a bit taller than the crane. And uh, obviously, to compensate for that, you could tie it as high as you can and cut it really low. But we're so far away. We're, we're only, how much are you good for over that thing, Brian? He's good for 2,800 pounds. How far away is it? It's 77 feet away. So obviously, we don't want to do anything big like that. So we're just going to take it down in small pieces because it's so far away and we're not good for that much. And I'll show you how. So now I'll get geared up to go up there. So, thank you, Jesse. <laughs> I got you, big boy. Yeah, utilize your ground, guys. <laughs> Higher. It's got to go around my waist. Okay. You're going to boom down just a hair, Brian? Good. So, now we're dangling this thing. I'll take a zipline strap, a loop runner or whatever people call these things. I'll just clip it anywhere. And I'll have Brian cable up a little bit. Good. Don't wanna put, don't need to put too much pressure on it. Just let it fall. Big. We got a branch and you see uh, these loops, they're pockets so it doesn't tie. I made it, yeah, so this, even with a load down here, this will still stay loose. Brian's just gonna hang out for a minute. I'm gonna come over here. Sling up, there. Turn that off so you can hear me up a few more branches and then uh, just swing that over put that I'll clip all three of these at once just pull a bit of that over get kind of crowded in here so I'll do that clip another branch to that and then clip that wherever. Come back over here. And uh, headache. Start down
cable up, Brian. I want to get this carabiner right here. Good. Right there. That way it doesn't have that much fall. I'll have Brian uh, boom right a little bit. Hold on. Yep. Boom right a little more. I mean, you can see these branches. This is a long strap. I'll wrap this one twice, so it's not so long. Um, I did it three times. So, this branch is 40 feet long. It'd be a process, and it's over that little tree. It would just be a processing nightmare, you know, having to dice all these up and drag them out so the ground guys can have their morning coffee while I do everything <laughs> always cut your stubs Yeah, you imagine trying to lower that down through all that stuff? What's that? Sure, yeah, okay. Go ahead and fly that out. How much does that weigh, Brian? 700 pounds of brush. Looks like more, but it's 700 pounds. You can see the, the fig down there, and it's just all kinds of landscaping, narrow gate. Brian will just take it out. I'll go down there so you can see us undo it, and then I'll have Brian put me back up here. So you can see that big old bundle. I mean, look at this. You know, like, that would suck. It'd be so worky and yucky. The gate doesn't even open all the way. We'd have to come out here and we'd have to use our legs like I'm doing now, but with brush at the same time. That's heavy. Ryan will just lay all this stuff down. Jesse and Davinol and clip all those. And boom, look at that, we didn't have to, we didn't have to use our bodies to get all those branches out. You, you can actually do a lot more than that. I've done like 3,000 pounds of branches, that was 700 pounds. So how much does that weigh? So that's 600 pounds of brush. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it that's a lot when it's on your shoulder. you can see to get underneath the ball yeah here 
All right, so now I'm taller than the crane. I gotta make this tree smaller. I wanna bring the tree down to about right here so it's underneath the ball. So I'm gonna do a couple marks. So now I'll, I'll go up there and I'll bring the canopy down. I'll rig it down with the block and rigging line and all that stuff and get to a point here where I can just take logs out of the tree. I just wanted to show how to use the sling that nice guy Dave and myself came up with. So that's the long jake and that's how I was able to, I don't know how long, we've been working on this, probably 45 minutes or so, probably. Uh, so let's see how high up I am. Okay, so, oh, I'm on settings. Oh wait, no I'm not, okay. So I'm at 103 feet right here. I remember we measured this at the beginning, it was 130. So I got I gotta go up. I have to take 30 feet off this tree before I get underneath the ball. If I had a bigger crane, I could sling it here and take a gigantic piece and it would be heavy. But if I topped it right here on the crane, that would be so incredibly violent. So we, brought, we did 100 feet of brush. I don't know how many thousands of pounds. I'll add that up later. But 100 feet of brush, probably 45 minutes. Yeah. 